Hello my friends and fellow YouTubers, welcome to episode number 25 of the Dawn God walkthrough. We have some uh, Skyrim uh, battle music going on and it's because of this Sprig and Matron that is currently glitching in the opening of this, uh, what is it, a ruin of some kind, maybe? Maybe a watchtower? Anyway, it's time to level up and it's been a while since we did that, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. Now, the one thing that I really want to level up, it's archery, and I want to get my ranger perk. Now, I can't get that right now. I need to get another perk first, and that's where I have a problem with one of my mods. And this mod being ace combat skills, and let's see how we deal with this problem. And speaking of problems, I guess I have contracted that vampire disease again. I faced a couple of vampires off camera just a couple of minutes ago. And let me see, I'm picking health for whatever reason. Maybe having 400 plus uh, magicka is that reason. Now, one of the things that I have always stayed away from in Skyrim is slow time. Now, you can activate slow time with a blocking perk, with a shout, and in archery it's called steady hand. Now, with ace combat skills activated, steady hand is required to get ranger. So the way around it is to temporarily disable ace combat skills, and then activate it again once I bought the perks. So, let's change subject. Yeah, see that thing over there? That's right, I have installed a new mod. This mod is called Skyrim Monster Mod, and these are some of the creatures that comes with it. Abomination, and uh, this is a Dagon. Oh, just look at that thing, huh? So I installed this mod because I'm looking for uh, some tougher enemies. As right now the only thing that will put up a fight there are the deadly dragons. And they only show up every once in a while anyway. Alright, so mud crab, yeah there you go. Let's see what these uh, new creatures look like. Alright, let's just skip the crab. Thank you. Here we go, abomination. So unfortunately we can't get a good look of it here, uh, as it's in the water. I couldn't really drag it up either for some reason. Hopefully we'll run into more of these creatures later on. Alright, so let's see if we can get a better look at the Dagon. Here it is. Alright, it's got a big hand with nasty claws. Of course some ice spikes or whatever sticking out through its body. Tentacles. Alright, alright. So let's have a look at some other creatures, uh, a cave lurk. Now I'm trying not to kill it here because I want to have a good look at it. But uh, yeah, Serana kills it anyway, but it doesn't matter because uh, we can see it here. Clear as day. Cute little fella. And then I just had to try something out. This is how squishy you would be with uh, no armor on master difficulty. See, I almost get killed by a mud crab. <laughs> anyway... Look here, huh? More abominations. And I didn't know they were this fast. That's kind of cool, because uh, this would make them quite a bit of a threat. They come out in packs like this. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Don't worry. Let's just have a quick look at what these things drop. Human flesh, human flesh, and... A Daedra heart. Ah. And Serana. Really? Reanimate a mud crab? <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. It's getting dark. But I can still see a bandit up there. Ah, oh, and he can see me, huh? Yeah, one shot. Take that bandit outlaw. Next one. Same thing, huh? Well, it does help that I have drained health on my... As, as one of the enchantments. I want to check that out, huh? It's not a hero, it's a werebear. I gotta say though, I would have never come up with that combination myself. But uh, I guess it fits with Skyrim. Let's see what it drops. Were, wolf and bear. And it drops saber cat stuff. Yeah, that, <laughs> that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but alright. So, for the next part of the video, I restarted the game without the archery part of Ace Combat skills activated. So, let's see if we can just find it here real quick. And there it is. So, let's have a look at it. Uh, one perk into Overdraw, one into Eagle Eye, one into Critical Shot, and none into Steady Hand. So, only the necessary perks in order to get to Ranger and Quick Shot. 
And of course, you have to take Hunter's Discipline, which is a complete waste of a perk, but uh, alright, it is what it is. Or is it? Because uh, now we're gonna activate Ace Combat Skills again, because all we wanted to do was make sure that we didn't get that overpowered uh, slow down time perk, what's it called, Steady Hand. And now I get that crazy lags back again that I had when the 1.7 update came. It's probably something to do with the update and Ace Combat Skills, but... Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at the perk and... Oh, that's the perk we just bought. Let's see what it does, <laughs> if I can only get to it. Let's see, longbow attacks ignore even more armor for a total of 55% ignored. Okay, so that's gonna apply to the uh, crossbow. So, in order to avoid steady hand for the next level up, I'll just do the same thing again. Disable ace combat skill and buy the ranger perk. Man, the stuff I do in order to try to keep this game challenging. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Anyway, I think it's time to try out that new uh, crossbow technique again. It isn't that new anymore, but uh, still fun though. I think I'm getting the hang of it now, actually, to be honest. That makes me wonder if I actually really need that ranger perk. Oh, well now, check this out. <laughs> okay, that looked really stupid. So let me see if I can try to explain this. So I was using the Exploding Bolts of Shock and I ran out and then the game automatically picks the uh, Exploding Bolts of Fire. So if you're using the crossbow, make sure you have enough of your favorite bolts. It's beautiful. Yes, Serona, it's beautiful. So turning off the night vision, that is something I should use more often, especially for the YouTube videos, because uh, everything just seems to be darker once you upload something on YouTube. And here at the moment I believe these things are butterflies and I'm trying to catch them. But these things are not butterflies, and uh, that is gonna become clear in just a moment. Alright, so I'm getting ready to fight. Doing the thing. Alteration, conjuration, destruction in the hands. And so let's pick up the knife and uh, see what attacks us. Alright, if you say so. I'm glad you're with me, because uh, this would be so confusing without you, Serana. Alright, so I finally realized that there's nothing that's going to attack. At least not until I do what I'm supposed to do with this tree here. So, uh, harvest uh, canticle bark. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Alright, so for this part of the mission you don't get any arrows to guide you. You're just gonna have to find those uh, moth swarms by yourself, and once you get close enough, they're just gonna follow you. I'll show you on a on a few swarms just to see, uh, so you see what it looks like. Yeah, that's uh, that's my second one, and I believe I got the third one up here somewhere. Yeah, there's one. All right. So I'm sure you get the picture. You need seven of those, right? And I promise you, I did not drink any of that skooma. I did not eat any funny mushrooms. This is just a phase I'm going through right now, okay? Like we're on the right track. <laughs> so once you've got them all and you're glowing like never before, it's time to read an Elder Scroll. So let's see how that goes. So that's the column over there. And, uh, well, yeah, I gotta do that. You can't be too careful, huh? Never know what's gonna hit you when you read an Elder Scroll. That's right, so the one we're looking for is blood. Let's find it in the inventory. Alright, so there's definitely something going on. I'm not really sure what, but there is something. Something is happening. Something is definitely happening. Uh huh. Are you okay? Are you okay? She asked. I don't know. 
Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out in the next episode. So uh, please stay tuned, people, and thanks for watching.